Hello YouTubers, so this is a video on how to set up your UTI WUD as requested by a viewer to a 70 volt system the proper way. Now there's a, this viewer that's been sending me tons and tons of requests to do this because I guess he, apparently he wants to get one of these for Christmas, so let's get to it. Now... There's two phones here. There's no phone system. This is assuming that you don't have a phone system of some sort, but all you have are just two trim line phones or one trim line phone, whatever it may be. Now, I just discovered a feature myself with the UTI-1 here. So, what up with the two phones? I'll explain here. This one is the trunk phone connected to the trunk port, not the station port, like I usually have it connected on the main system, but this is this this is a trunk. And this was just your typical override. So you'll know a difference. You'll hear a difference. This is the trunk mode right here. And then this one is the override. As you can hear. So, to get this feature to work, see those two switches here? You got, we want to flip it from ground start to loop start if it already isn't flipped there. And then you want to flip this switch all the way to trunk. That is how you get the trunk page port to work. That is so you don't, that's assuming you don't have a phone system. Okay, the telephone part is covered. And again, any trim line phone will work. Now, as far as the amplifier side goes, you cannot hook a 70 volt speaker directly to the audio outputs, which is the T and the R here, you see. You have two sets here. I usually use the page head music, but it does not matter which ones you use as long as your wires land on the T and the R. The R is the positive, the T, or actually the T is the, the positive, and the R is the negative. And when I think of T and R, I think of these. A 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack. Usually the tip is the top. That's usually positive. And... The rig here is your negative, that is your ground. So that comes out of there. It goes to these wires, which I use the color-coded wire so you can see. And I'll unplug this so you can see. So every app is going to be different. I, I, If I remember correctly, you said you were going to use a TOA app. So, I have mute revision connected, which, that's what this other white wire here is. You want to use common and normally open. That is the internal relay for this, going out to the mute revision. This happens to be a JBL CSMA 80 amplifier. I think it was a 180. Yeah, it's a 180. You want to, that priority... And the priority here is basically mute revision. Every amp's going to be different. And then the plus and the minus you see there, that is the audio coming out of here. The T and the R, as I said, goes all the way through here, back to there, to positive and negative. And then this other symbol here, that's where the first one represents ground. We don't need to worry about that in this case. If your amplifier also has a switch like this one does, flip it to line. But if you said you have a TOA amp, use the telephone terminal or the TEL, not the microphone. If you connect this to the microphone, it's going to be way too loud and it's going to, it's going to spook you basically. You just have your typical Quab 70 volt speaker connected here. Do not connect a 70 volt speaker directly to this. It, it will not work. This will only work if you have a Balcom self amplified speaker or one of those bogus self amplified speakers. So, as far as my music source goes, 
everyone has their own opinions. I prefer not to put my play my music through here. Mainly because I adjust the volume periodically on the amplifier for my music source or my audio source. So I usually have my music, my auxiliary signal or my audio signal co go into a separate input here, which this was on channel two. So we'll play some music here. Now that is on channel two on this app. Channel one is this. As you can see, it works. It mutes and everything. But the nice thing is, if you have override in use, this is trunk, but the override allows you to make an emergency page or whatever. It cuts out the trunk port. And I could take over. And then when I hang it back up, it goes back in the trunk mode. The phone is off the hook still. See? So it kind of resumes back to the trunk mode if the phone is off the hook. No phone system evolved in this setup. Very cost efficient. So, works very well. So I'll probably set it up, use it these two, and then you'll probably hear a difference. Okay, so I am back here with my auxiliary signal or my audio source connected directly to the inputs on the UTI-1. This is if you wish you had this set up. So I can set up going. I don't recommend it, but maybe it's feasible for some of you other viewers out there. You don't, you still utilize the same setup, but if you want your music to pass through, use the page of music terminals, not the page only. The page only does only pages. But if you want page of music, use the page of music. So this cable runs all the way back to my audio source here. Through RCA cable. But if you don't have... If you're wondering what type of fancy cable I use, really I just use one of these. A 3.5 millimeter jack to RCA. You, these are so inexpensive on Amazon. They're everywhere, so or you can get them at Best Buy, Walmart, etc. But the mute works, and notice I deleted the mute revision. There's no mute revision connection going on here. It's completely disconnected. The only disadvantage of this setup is, like I said, if you're putting in an audio source into your amplifier, using this method, let's say you wanted to adjust the volume, then you're affecting the page volume as well. Maybe... I try to keep the page volume as consistent as possible. Yeah, sure, maybe your MP3 device or your computer has its own integrated volume, volume bar like this does, but let's say you're a little bit, let's say old school, and you use a CD player or a DVD player to play CDs or whatever on, like this. Well, guess what? This has no volume controls, so. You just using the audio out and connecting it straight to this. It's just going to be constant light out. No, no way of controlling it unless you're messing with the controls here. And that kind of defeats the purpose of page. But, but you still get mute revision as, as I'll show you. As you can see, it mutes perfectly. This is the trunk mode. And here's the override. As you can hear, override a little bit louder. So I'll leave the truck off of the hook and I'm gonna override into the system. As you can hear, it overrides. And I hang up. And it goes back to trunk as long as the phone is off the hook. And I just hang it up.
So, if you do get one of these, be aware it makes a loud buzzing noise at first. That is completely normal. I have two of these and they both make the same buzzing sound. It's because it's got a large power output transfer for your self amplified speakers and to power this at the same time. As far as adjusting volume controls, it depends on where you got it from. It might already be pre adjusted, but. But right here, I only mess with these controls. I really never mess with any of these, but there is a music level. And I believe I have that cranked all the way to max. Mute level, I never mess with. I never mess with the limiter threshold. So, I'll play my source here. So, take a tiny flathead screwdriver like this. It is hard to see, but it's purple. So this is my control here. As you can hear. As you can hear, I turned it all the way down. That is your volume control. That's your secondary control or your primary control. So that's if you need to adjust it. I would recommend putting it almost all quarter, well, mostly all the way up. A little past the halfway mark, the 12 o'clock position, go a little past that. And then adjust your volume controls accordingly, which it happens to be on channel wood. Adjust that first, and then go to your amp and adjust it afterwards until you find, find, it, until you, the level is satisfactory for you. You don't want to just crank this wide open and crank this wide open because then it might hurt your amp or it might spook you or you have too much feedback really what I look for is I do it until there's no until there's very little to no feedback taking place between your phone and your speakers that's your problem that's the that's usually the main problem I encounter is feedback Adjust it until it's right for you, and as long as there's no feedback taking place on your system, that's the way how I do it. So yeah, before I get copyrighted with that song. So again, this is just a JBL CSMA amplifier. That this could apply to a totally integrated amplifier. Like I said, the back of it, it has a remote mute. It is not labeled as priority. It's just two wires. And you want to use the tail terminal here. You want to use the terminals corresponding to tail. You want to use, use the positive and the negative, so, negative terminals. You don't have to worry about ground. That's how I've done it. And do not use microphone. I warn you, do not use the microphone. If you connect mic to this, it's going to be way too loud. And too sensitive. Hope you guys found this video useful. And stay tuned for more.